J.K. Dobbins recently returned from his injury, and while people are a little bit concerned with how stiff he still looks on the field while running, perhaps more concerning to a lot of people were these images showing these unusual bumps on the front of Dobbins' knee. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and if it's your first time here and you enjoy learning about the underlying anatomy of different sports medicine topics, then please consider subscribing to support the channel and stay up to date with every video. These images popped up when Dobbins made his return to the Ravens, and I think it's fair that people were concerned about what in the world these big bumps are on the front of his knee. It definitely doesn't look normal, and for somebody who's come off of a very complex injury, had to undergo another surgery, I can understand why Ravens and football fans see this and are a little bit freaked out. When surgeons operate on the knee, there's a couple different ways they can access the tissues inside the knee, such as the ACL. One of those is to make an open incision, so a standard traditional cut on the skin, and another is through something called an arthroscopic technique. This scar that we can see down the front of Dobbins' knee is more the traditional incision like we think of after a surgery, and almost certainly this scar would have been from harvesting the tendon to use in his ACL reconstruction. That's something you can't do from just two little portal sites arthroscopically, so this incision on the front would have likely been from that access for the tendon. These bumps are located where the incision is made to insert the arthroscopic instruments. So Dobbins' most recent surgery was an arthroscopic procedure where they went in to essentially clean out the knee. These two incision sites are right where they would insert those instruments. On one side, they're going to have a camera, and on the other side, they're going to put in their instruments to do the debridement, to do the meniscus repair, or whatever they're doing inside the knee joint. With our triple box here, we can highlight these areas on our biodigital anatomy tool. So of course, we have the patella, or the kneecap in front, but then if we compare this to what we see with Dobbins' knee, those two incision sites are going to be about right here and right here. You can see how directly behind those incision sites is the inside of the knee joint. Typically during these surgeries, the patient or the athlete's knee is flexed a little bit, so bent up, which is going to even further open up this side on the inside and outside of the patella, and that's how surgeons get the instruments into the knee to operate. Remember that Dobbins has had two surgeries, and they likely reuse these same locations, the same sort of entry point to insert the instruments for his second procedure. What that means is there's going to be some increased potential for scar tissue to form in this area because anytime you make an incision in the skin, the body's natural response is to lay down scar tissue to fill in that gap. We try to prevent this based on the way that the incision is closed with sutures, but there's always potential that you can have increased scar tissue formation at that site of entry. So I anticipate this is primarily some scar tissue that's formed right at those incision sites on both locations, maybe a little bit of some residual fluid in there, something called a seroma potentially, where you just get some accumulation of very benign fluid at the site of a surgery. But nothing about this makes me think this is an indication that Dobbins' knee is in like bad shape or something that fans should be concerned about or is overly harmful. The bigger thing that would give me some apprehension with just how Dobbins looked to be running. Now, I'm sure he played great, but I think it was pretty clear on this long run that he looked to be favoring that left side a little bit. He was kind of limping and had kind of a hitch in his gait. It's almost like he doesn't want to fully extend or straighten out that left knee and seems to even still be a little bit antalgic on it. So that would give me a little bit more apprehension, just that maybe the knee isn't quite at that peak level where he'd like it to be, but as long as there's no residual swelling, he's not getting a mechanical locking or clicking, that's oftentimes the balance we have to play with getting athletes back quickly in these sort of situations. So again, I would not be particularly concerned about these bumps on the front of his knee. This just looks like the residual effects of having multiple arthroscopic procedures where instruments are inserted through a little tiny port in the skin, likely an accumulation of some scar tissue in this area with maybe a little bit of residual fluid from his recent procedure. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.